Well, hello, friends. How's it going? It's your friend Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, the British campaign. On easy, but with scale. And um, it just updated today uh, to version 10.14. So they made a lot of changes to the game uh, and stuff like that, fixing things. But I'll list that in the comments, I guess, section or whatever. But here we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play this uh, Odyssey. This is the last LAN battle in the campaign. So this will be the last time that I use my transport. So I guess I'll sell it later. And I think I'll disband my uh, units that are in it. But anyways, okay, so I took the captains off so that way I'd know what ships to put in. All right, so the Whitby will go in. She's got the uh, eight pound cannon here and, and three marine units. And then uh, the ships that are available. Here's my capital ship, 144 gun ship. Shirley, another 144 gun ship. Gail, another 144 gun ship. And Ronda, another 144 gun ship. 1350 on them. And that gives me a grand total of 6,325. All right, let's uh, give it a run here. All right, Captain, our scouts report that the enemy is approaching. Our best chances to save Whithaven is to hold this ridge and block the enemy advance to the town. Make haste, Captain, deploy your men and get ready to repel the attackers. All right, we're going to pause right here for just a moment, and I'm going to go ahead and save the game. Why not? We can. So let's go ahead and put an S1 there. That's, that'll be just tells me it's my first save of the start of the game. Oh, and they gave us a cavalry unit. All right, well, let's get back to this for just a moment. We always like to check out what we got here. Like, look at this. All right. So I believe this is my eight pounder. Let's see, probably, probably gonna want it right over here maybe. Um, Cav, let's go take a look over there. Let me take a wing right here. Let's set those guys over there. Oh, we got another cav over here, and this is a big one. Check it out. All right, we'll send that cav over there for now. You guys, wow, I'm just getting excited. They gave us a couple of cav units. Okay, you guys are going to go there. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, like that. All right, let's go ahead and get them uh, moving now. We can have them go a little faster. All right, so we'll claim that. Uh, let's see. Still have more units. Let's get everybody moving. Okay, now my gun can get over there. Right about here, maybe. Come on, boys, get in there. How are you guys? Uh-oh, here, here comes the skirmishers. Have my eight-pounder hit them. We gotta get into place here.
Okay, so let's see how we're going to do this. Cab over here. Cab over here. Oh, yeah, I got to get it back to normal speed. Sorry, because uh, this will get out of hand quick. All right, let's put a front right here. I think we'll close in a little bit more. All right, now I need some in here too, so I've got way too much over here. Okay, move. Move. And move. Oh, and we got units right here. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to need a lot from the rear, but we're going to leave some units here just in case. Oh, and I still have these guys. Okay, wow. All right, good. All right, this group, go over there. All right, so we're going to engage right here, it looks like. How can I use this cavalry effectively? Oh, we got... Okay, hold on. We got Skirmisher here. All right, come on, boys. Now, I wonder if we'll get any from over here, but I'm not going to worry about that. I got two units here. I could always bring this unit over there. Now, we got a lot going on here, so this is going to be... Interested. Oh, and we got a cannon right there, so your, your job is to get over there. Alright, now, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, you shoot that one. Alright, Cav. Let me get the Cavs over here. Oh yeah, Cav, come on down this way. We got, got a skirmisher. You know, where is this big one going? Oh, let's see this. Alright, boy, we got a lot going on here. Oh, look at this everywhere. Alright, look. All right, let's just push these guys off. Yeah, let's go after them. Come on, like, let, I mean, well, no, we should stay. We should stay here. Are right, you? I'm gonna have this my eight pounder shoot at that cannon over there. It looks like, and I think we're gonna need some units over here to deal with this unit. He's gonna try to breach us. Now you get over there. You get over there. You on him. You on him. Oh boy. Oh, Calvary. Calvary. You after this one. You after that one. You shoot that one. You shoot that one though. Come on. You over here. 
Yeah, I don't know if they got anything coming this way. It's the, it's the one variable. Oh, now what we got going on over here? All right, look, we don't we don't let a gun do that to us. Come on. All right, that 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 cannon must have blown this guy off the line, I think, because he should have been over here. Come on, let's keep moving. Come on, let's keep going. Oh, and I'm not... Okay, I gotta pause for a minute because, like I said, there's a lot of firefights all over the place. And I don't see any over here yet. So... But we got... Now, let's see how this 8-pounder is working on that one right there. We'll see that. Now, you shoot him. You shoot him. You and... Oh, you're shooting him? Okay, maybe... All right, I want you out there to fight. You shoot that one. You shoot that one. You shoot that one. We still got another one there. We got that cannon there. But like I said, this unit here is doing that. I'm wondering if I don't need these guys here. If I could. But then again, if they come this way, you know, I, I don't really know. So let me... Let me move, suppose I move this guy over here, and that means I could probably move this one to over there, or maybe right over there. And then I had these two to fight off these guys over here, but maybe I can send these guys over that way. Now. While all that's going on, I just got to make sure that everything is going on. All right, now, Kev, you're supposed to be going after him. You're supposed to be going after him. Charge. And then you get right over there, and you get right there. All right, let's do that. Come on, these two units should be able to break this one down. Keep going forward. Because once we break him down, we got his gun, you know. He's already lost lost a crew. Like, it's 20 per gun, so he's down to not much. Yeah, he was down to one gun. <laughs> okay, good. We got it. All right, grab that. Now, let's go... Let's go. Let's go. You come back to over there. Alright, we won that part. Okay, Calvary, over here, please. And you. Oh, we got. Alright, okay. Let's see. Oh, but they got. They got a big one right here. Okay, over here, please. Let's go. Yeah, let's kill these guys off, please. Yeah, see now, having this gun right here, that should be all we need right there. So I can bring these guys back, I think. I'll just leave this gun right here and he'll stop any unit from over here. So we don't have to worry about that flank. Yeah, and I don't even know if there's anybody from over here. I wonder if I should send one unit over there just to see. Oh, one cavalry 
is wasted, but oh well. Now, let's go up there and get that cannon. Let's go get that cannon. Alright, now I am certain I don't need all these units to do that, so you guys get over here, please. Or better yet, you shoot him, you go shoot him, you over here, and you over there. Yeah, I think, uh, like I said. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so now we've got a big unit here now. you got to get up here and help. Now, please kill off this gun right here. Okay. All right. All right, why don't we just hold for a moment? There's so many units all over the place. I'm getting kind of confused a little bit. Okay, now, any big unit like that needs to have more units shooting at him than one because he'll will he'll 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 destroy my my marines here so now you get to that one Okay, so it looks like we could get that gun right now. And you know, I don't see I don't see an attack from over this way, so maybe it won't come. It seems kind of interesting that they didn't come from that way. All right, you go get the gun. You get over here to protect the gun. All right, well, this cab is going to go that way. Did they kill the other cab unit? Like, if they're getting routed, they should um, retreat. So I'm wondering if I lost that one cab unit. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's no big deal. All right, so you're going to get over here. All right, let's hold for a minute. Now, I think we killed that gun off. Um, oh, we got a big unit right here hiding. All right, well, let's, let's first try to eliminate these guys right here. Because if he goes to the camp, he's going to get hit by my artillery anyway. Let's just try to finish these guys off. Matter of fact, I can move one here and I can move this one here. I even got these guys that didn't even do anything. Alright, you might get over there. Yeah, do you see how they, they they spread out and they and they try hidden each unit. You know, they want to flank. So I got to get this guy over here. Come on. Get over here. You go there. You go there. Okay, you go up. You go up. You two. Hey, a cab went right by that unit. Now we gotta tell each one of these units to shoot. Come on. Okay. 
Okay, and we're out of, gonna be out of ammo. You see now you can ask yourself, um, is it worth going way out here where we don't have the supply depot here? Like if we were, if we held here and let them come at me, especially if I took out their, can hey, there's a, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Hey, this is what I would want the cavalry for is to get that supply wagon. All right, so they got a 320 right there, so they're getting more reinforcements. So we got to try to eliminate these guys as best we can. Now, get that. Come on. That's what we want cavalry for. Go get that. Yeah, I must have lost the other cavalry unit. That's too bad. Oh. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I... Oh, now, hey, now. Oh, are they still... My cavalry kind of doesn't really do good. Let me see. I wonder if I dismount them. Oh, wait a minute. Sailor surrendered where? Okay, well, we do love prisoners, so let's get the prisoner over here to run and get away from there. All right, now, that takes you to go after him. You and you. Oh, we got we got an enemy right here. Enemy. Enemy. You can shoot him. Well, like I said, I, I should have kept the uh, cavalry for reserve to go look for supply wagons so well. I lost, I might have lost both. Yeah, it wasn't, a, it wasn't the best way of me managing those two, uh, two, those two cav units. Now this is an opportunity to kill this guy off. Actually, this unit doesn't have ammo. I'm going to send him back there. And I'll send this unit over here. He's got ammo. This unit has ammo. Yeah, I don't I don't think we get attacked from this side over here. So why don't we move those guys? Why don't you get over here? And look, we still have this big skirmish unit right here. All right, you get over there. Oh, that supply wagon is still there. This cab did nothing. Sheesh. All right, guys, over here. This artillery can get over here to get ammo. 
Come on, everybody, over there then. You guys are goofing up. Let's go. Man, you gotta watch, like, you gotta keep an eye on this, because, like I said, they are... They're finding people who they can um, flank. You're trying to get ammo. You're coming over here. Yeah, you need ammo. You go back over there then. You're not doing me any good. Oh, and they want a melee. Okay, so well, that's interesting. Yeah, it says friendly fire, like, um, okay, thank you. Um, uh, what I was going to say was it says friendly fire, and I, I tell each uh, these three units to melee. I didn't tell them to shoot, but they like to stop and try to shoot, and then they shoot at my own guy, so. If you tell each unit to melee, they should not shoot. They should automatically go into melee. Do you agree with me or not on that particular thing? Hey, now, there's, you're going to let a skirmisher try to go right to the flag? Come on. Over here. Yeah, see, that's the thing that you have to always worry about. If if I didn't leave anybody here, they'd come claim the flag on me. But now this skirmisher is going to be hit by three flanks. Okay, come on, flank him. And yeah, now he's going to run off this way. Oh, he's probably ch coming for the prisoner. But... We're right there, we're right there, shoot him, shoot him. Yeah, see, plus the artillery can hit him. Now, charge him, dude. Should be no, how can he be flank? I don't have no artillery over here or nothing, come on. I mean, they even said in the 10.14 patch that our units should automatically turn and shoot at somebody if they're nearer to them. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I just read that shortly ago. So, I mean, all right, you need ammo. You, you go back. You still have ammo, you can shoot at him. Right there. Hit this one. Hit this one. Yeah, I mean, I... I uh oh, I gotta see what's going on over here. Hold on. Oh, boy. Okay, what do we got going on here? Hey, right here. Right here. Yeah, see, this is why you gotta keep, you gotta keep on the battle. You gotta keep watching, cause uh, otherwise, we're gonna get into bad situations here. Come on, just charge him. Then I don't understand it. It looks like he's right here. Is this a game bug? Yeah, see, this is a game. Okay, we must have a game bug right here. No, no, wait a minute, he's... I don't get it, but get over here and get that supply wagon. Shoot him. Shoot him. Hey, you shoot him. I mean, this might be a bug right here. Do you even see where this guy is standing? I don't. Yeah, he's shooting at him over here. Y yeah, like I said, okay, so they... They always, they always patch the game. Yeah, see, he just, he just magically jumped over here, so yeah. They patch the game, say they fix certain things, and then something else breaks, but... Okay, we can finally get this, though. That's what I want. Now, you get over here. You get over there. 
You get over there. Let's go, boys. Now, what happened here? I don't even know what happened to the enemy. Let's close in on them. Oh, we got them coming. Yep, see, I knew. All right, boys. Shoot them. Yeah, I left this all open. Holy, okay. You two. Over here. You. Go engage. Go engage. Gauge him. Yeah, I can't believe I left my whole base, uh, like, uh, open. Okay, so, come on. Emergency! Oh, I got a unit right here. Okay, emergency, let's go. Okay, boys, sh yeah, use your can. Luck luckily, I put all the three, key the, the two that I captured and mine here. So, luckily, plus they could fill up with ammo. All right, empty. Oh, it's empty. Their supply wagon is empty. It is empty. Unbelievable. I took so long in getting that supply wagon that the enemy totally sucked it up. Unbelievable. It's actually empty. I am disappointed in that. Oh, man, totally disappointed. Yeah, see, okay, so I, I see what's going on here, right? And you can see it, too. What's going on is they're roaming all over the place, and they're finding holes in my defense, and they are then um, heading uh, to the to the flag in the, in the depot and stuff. So, I mean... That's what they're doing. They're, what they're doing is they're they're finding where I'm weak at. So it's kind of like I have to kind of make a a stand here where they they can't get past it. Cause oh yeah, there's a unit right here. Hey, hit this unit. You hit that unit. Get over here. Yeah, I'm really disappointed. Um, Calvary over here. All right. All right, so now we can actually win. Um, I don't know how much I've actually lost, but... Alright, uh, you guys. Over there. My spy wagon. Well, we're gonna see if we can fill it up over here. That'd be at least 10 grand if I can get it. Now these units, I do not know what happened to the others, so I might as well just send them this way. Yeah, you need to get right here. He's dwindling. All right, look, come on, get over here. Yeah, so maybe some of my units, once we took him over, maybe they grabbed the uh, ammo too. Uh, I'm not going to say the enemy got the whole thing, but maybe as soon as I captured it, my guys sucked up some of that ammo and it just emptied. So I know we can finish the game, but we're not going to. We're going to try to just find all these units. We can go to faster speed, I guess. Now that the battle is pretty much won.
Yeah, and like I said, the good news of me putting the guns there. Yeah, look at they just this unit just got disbanded, so the artillery shot them. I might as well put somebody on this flag just in case. Alright, now I'm going to go super fast, four times speed, because I just want to see if I can get this supply wagon over here. I don't know if the enemy would have had more than one supply wagon, probably. Yeah, so now they said, yeah, now let's see, let's see if what they said, yeah, see now, this is what they said, they changed. So now there's a near enemy, and notice how Lawson turned that way. So that did work. So that is really a good feature that they just they just did in the 10.14 patch. Nice. They said in land units will now adjust to the nearest enemy. So that is something that I have always wanted. So whatever, whoever's the nearest enemy they will face and turn. I mean, that is a beautiful feature. So now you can set up a line like this and they cannot penetrate it. So yeah, all right, I like that. Okay, so my supply wagon is here. I'm gonna tell it to not uh, give anybody anything. And I got it at four times speed. So now you guys are going to get over here too. Any unit that is... Oh, he got past us. And that's okay. Alright, so look. Go back. Let's go back. Yeah, I'm just messing around right now while the supply wagon fills up. And should I bring everybody back to suck up the ammo when I want the supply wagon to get it? But, you know, it might be a bad thing. But, yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, other than trying to see if there's another supply wagon out there. But there's only one depot, so once this depot is full... So let me see, I can place a gun. I can place a gun right there. This gun can go over there. You can go there, you can go there. Just hold. Let's see if they adjust to it. Let's see. Form line. Okay, so we'll just protect the flag. I mean, that's what they're going to do. They're going to do that kind of stuff. No. Well, so the only... Out of the two cavalry units, uh, this this is the only one that survived. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. He lost 82, so he was the bigger unit. That's why he survived. Remember, they gave us a big unit of, like, uh, whatever that he was. Like, because it says 82 deaths. The Dragoons, right? 82 deaths. 37 kills. So, so the other unit was smaller, I guess, so that's why he died off. 
And it's unfortunate. Like, if I tell them to melee somebody, but once they start to get wavered, they should then just try to run, run away, you know? So I didn't get to see that particular unit get killed. So we see blue right there. Okay, now remember what I said earlier. I think it's every six minutes, one percent will go off into the every any every six minutes. So like it's at thirty-one. So it's at forty-five percent. So we're at thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Yeah, so. 35, 36, yep, it's now 44%, so it's every six minutes, uh, this one, this will gain 1%, I mean 1% from the depot. So, I don't, I don't need to go get a 100% wipeout of this, like, um, as you can see, I got all these guys here. Like this was perfect, though, putting a line here, and then it, and and and, and I, at least I showed you what one of the updates just did. That these units now, like if a unit comes over here, he'll turn around and 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 shoot, and that's what I always wanted. Like I wanted something like that. I always complained that you could have a unit right here, a skirmish could come up right over here and start shooting him in the back, and he wouldn't do nothing. You know what I mean? He wouldn't do anything. And if, if you're over here fighting a battle or something, and you're not paying attention to, like, one unit over here, and a, and a skirmisher comes up behind him and starts shooting him, he wouldn't turn around. And he could be dwindling at this guy here, and you wouldn't even know it. Because you're watching this over here, or you're doing a battle over here or there, but... Anyways, um... I don't know what else I could talk about. Let's see here. You know, only... Yeah, like I said, I'm going at I'm going at four times the speed. So my, maybe we'll just uh, we'll run some we'll, we'll get some units to move around. I guess I don't need everybody here. We can try to build a little bit of stamina. There's probably a limit of what they can build, but. Yeah, let's just take a peek at this this map right now. Did we go over here? No. Well, there is a unit right. Oh, he, he wants to melee. How sweet. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. All right, let's go take a look over here, boys. Oh, okay, so all right, we don't need everybody. You go right there. You go right there. You two over here. You can go over to there. You can go over there. All right, so we're not going to shoot him, and the reason is we need at least one enemy alive to keep the game uh, going. And uh, we're just trying to. Well, I'm just trying to fill this guy up. It's taken forever. I mean, it does take forever, and it's. I'm going at the fastest that you can go on this four times speed. So just go to the end result of my video if if, if you don't want to see this. Um, I'm sorry that I, that I do things like this in the game. That I just enjoy. Um, 
the infam in infinite time that you get to do things in this game. And so we're just going to the borders just to see if there's anything there. Is anybody in the town? So, okay, so I'll say, uh, interestingly, it seems like we didn't get attacked from this way. Now, maybe on a hard campaign, they put some units over here to attack you. Because, you know what I mean? It's, it's possible by the difficulty settings of what you're going to actually face. And on a hard setting, there would be like quadruple the amount of cannons. Like, I think I destroyed one of their cannons and I think I captured two. So that accounts for three uh, artillery units. And I think on a hard campaign, there'd be at least six to eight. Um, you know, I'm trying to remember from when I played the hard campaign. Because I, I do remember this one being a little pretty, a pretty tricky battle. Yeah, so how far can we go? Oh, and there's even a unit right here. Royal Fuslers. Okay, he's dead. There we go. Okay, you. Oh, we can only go to here. All right, like I said, I'm just trying to move these guys around, get a little bit of stamina, I guess, and uh, wait for that supply wagon to... So, all right, so we don't see... So the only place we see blue is right there. There's no blue over here. There's no... There's no blue along here, it looks like. So it appears that they might have only had one supply wagon, or at least I didn't find it. So yeah, I wish we could go even faster, but I can't. Down to 26%. Yeah, I don't know, man. Not looking good. Not looking good. Yeah, you're just going to have to go to the end results. So I'm keeping this one unit alive just for this one uh, depot at 24%. So just speed the video ahead till you see this go down to... Uh, what, where is it? Yeah, this go down to zero. Okay, that's what I suggest right now is for you to speed ahead to you see this at zero, which it's at 24 so 24 times 6 is how long this is going to go. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, okay, so uh, I don't know. What else can I talk about? All right, so what do you think about the Dragoons, anyways? Looks like they got a carbine right here that's... uh, Yeah, it's only 12 melee. So melee-in might not be that good. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it might be better to have the unit... Oh yeah, dismount. And so it might be better for him to be able to shoot. 
Because for a cav unit, that melee, like, they should have a bayonet or they should have something like a saber or something for melee. And... But yeah, that's what I would think. So that's good to know. Um, they can melee, but the melee stat is so low. I mean, let's look at... But look at his melee is is 86. So him meleeing a cav unit would be much better on his, his behalf. And if a cav unit attacks you, you hit the space bar and he'll be standing in place on a hold and he'll have better defensive capabilities and stuff. So that's how you uh, defend against cavalry. And notice that the enemy didn't have cavalry, but they gave us some cavalry. And I and I don't know if they gave us any um, any infantry units. They might have. Like we'll see at the end stat. Like I I should probably end. I mean, what's 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 what is, uh, you know, the max that this can be worth is, is 10 grand. So it's probably around 4 grand maybe. And we're down to 16%. So we're, we're getting down there. All right, let's talk about my artillery. So I, I, I can tell you, like, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll just, like, talk about this. Until this, this depot goes to zero, I'll try to talk about some stuff. So here, here's an eight-pounder, right? Um, I bought the, like, in this campaign, like, in all the campaigns, but I mean, I only go basically, I'll tell you, like, my strategy is I only want one transport ship. And that means I only want one artillery unit. If I once I get the tech, I buy I make sure I get the tech for the eight pounder. Because I want the eight pounder. I want I want the longest range and the and the higher caliber. And I just do a hundred, that's five guns, twenty men per gun. And that's what I, and that's the only unit that I'll have throughout the whole campaign. And I'll have three marine units, and I'll put them on that big transport where you can have, uh, like I, I don't even know, like, yeah, is the Whitby? I can't even remember right now. Like either way. Is the wit be the big one with that, like, that I can have guns on? Or like, cause usually what, what I would do is I would try to get to the ship that has guns, the transport. And like I said, I just have my artillery unit on it and three marine units. And the reason I do that is because transport ships are slow. And they screw up any uh, chain gang that your ships are in line because the transport is slow. I've had my own ships crash into the the, the, the transport ship and stuff. So what, I, what I'm just trying to say is I only like one transport ship in my fleet and then everybody else, all the other ships are gonna be whatever they are, fifth rates, third rates, first rates, second rates, whatever. Because I can fill a, I think it's a 144 gun uh, ship. I can put 1,350 guys onto that ship. Now, yeah, on a transport ship, you can make a 320 man unit. And you can make three of those and you're close to 1,000. Um, but then you wouldn't be able to have any guns on the ship because that ship's going to be way overweight um, and stuff like that. 
And I, I know I know you can put an upgrade on that ship to take away the planking to make the ship lighter. But if that ship gets shot, it might go down quicker. So you know what I mean? Like there's a lot of variables to, to, to figure out. We're down to six percent on the depot, so we're almost done. But um and like I said, I'm only able to do this because of this one unit just sitting here. That means that this unit is alive and that I don't know if there's any more. I went around and I searched for them and I killed them off. But because he's willing to stay right there and just see if we move so he can come get the flag right here, then, then this can go on forever. And I don't need it to go on forever. I just need it to get five more percent. So let's take a look. Yeah, so we might get 5,000 out of this. And do I really need that little 5,000 at this point in the campaign? Probably not. Because I'm even going to sell my transport anyways, and that's going to give me money. So this is a waste of time, but uh, but I'm just talking about, you know, like I said, the transport. I only have one transport in my fleet. Like in the beginning, when they give you some, you might have, like I, you, you have one, you might have the small one. Eventually, I'll upgrade it to I get to the Whitby, which is what I got. So the Whitby I carried forward in this campaign as the only ship of transport. And I have my three marine units and one artillery unit. And I like the, like I said, I like the eight pounder. I don't do the four or the six. I like the eight pounder. And uh, what more can I say about that? But that's about it. But like I said, when you get first rate ships, you know, you can get like 1,250 guys or 1,350 on there. And so that I think that's adequate. And I'd rather have warships and transport ships any day. All right, let's call everybody back we're almost done we are to oh we're at zero percent so i can go ahead and finish or better yet let's go and see if this was the last guy let's see if this is the last guy because the game blend if it is oh and you're gonna run away all right look Guys, can you run then? If he's running, you run. Run. Yeah, that's it. Run. Now shoot him. Now shoot him. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say I lied that I would finish it as soon as uh, that got to zero, but it did go to zero, but, I, but why not? You know, this guy allowed me to fill up that, that supply wagon. So this should end unless there's somebody else on it, but I'm going to end it anyways. Yep, okay, it ended. That was the last unit. So so that was perfect uh, for what I was doing, I would say. The, um, okay, so I did lose 1,200. So that's, you know, that's that's, that's good pos position. But anyways, what, what I'm going to say is um, that unit right there, it was ideal that my artillery didn't see him. And he just was able to sit there so I could fill that uh, supply wagon up. But anyways, here we go. All right, well, you know what's kind of interesting? Look at here. They did not show... They did not show... Look, uh, there's no way that I had cavalry. Like, uh, there's no... You can't make cavalry in a game. So, I mean... Um, I had two cavalry units, um, and and you don't see it here. Like it should be like they should have, they should have a spot for cavalry. I think they don't have one right here. Yeah, that's probably it. That's probably a, it's probably something they didn't consider, and that's why it doesn't show up here. The cavalry, go to goals, hold the ridge. That's all you have to do. Um, yeah, the dragoons. Okay, it says destroyed, destroyed. Uh, did I did I lose a dragoon? Well, that's kind of weird. 
Yeah, and it looks like they only had... Uh, no, it looks like... Hey, now, wait a minute. It looks like they had... Um, three supply wagons, right? Because that's one there, that's two, and that's three. So they had three in here, but I only found one. And why would this end if, if there's still two supply wagons out there? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure that out. If you could help me on that, you can go ahead and answer it. But... um. Yeah, this is a supply wagon right here. It's 50-50. It's perfect. So this one didn't lose anything. And this one right here, 50-50. So, so, okay, so I would say, did they get stuck during the deployment of them? Because we didn't see them at all. And, and, and normally, if there was a supply wagon still in, the, in this map, this would not finish automatically. Now, unless that update just changed something in the, in a land battle where if supply wagons are left but no other enemy units, does the game finish? Does the battle finish? That would be a, that, that's a, that's a question that I'm thinking right now because this is something that's a strange behavior to me at this very moment of two supply wagons that um, are 50-50, meaning, you know, status none. So, yeah, that, that's a little bit, I think, uh, that's a little bit strange. Okay, well, oh, well, enough said. I mean, you know, that's just my, okay, so at least we got 5,000 for that. But I'll tell you, if they had two other ones out there that were full, that would be an extra 20,000 that I could have. So, But no big deal. We captured uh, six of their four-pounders. So they had four-pounders, and I had eight-pounders. And one of my uh, eight-pounders wiped out one of their units. So, All right, well, that's that. I mean, I'm sorry that I dragged it out just for that supply wagon and stuff, but... But you know what I mean? Like, if, if you know the answer to that, why there were two enemy supply wagons, I mean, that is what that was about. So, this is the last land battle, and they gave us three career points. Now, what can I do? Um... Well, I'll max that out. I, I always do all of this. I don't know why I always do it, but I do it. Alright, that's where it'll go. Alright, so we still got a thousand on this ship here that was in the battle. We still got a thousand that was on this ship. And we still got a thousand on this ship. Ah, we lost an officer there, though. All right, well, these guys here, I took off my main ships, so I ain't going to put him there. I'll put him there for now. Oh, we lost an officer. We'll just put that guy there. All right, well, these were my guys, as you can see. These were my Marines. I'm going to dismiss them.
and my beautiful eight pounder. And we only get 9,000 for the Whitby. Goodbye. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and put the captains back on the ships. This way all my ships will have captains. And they gave us this ship. Okay, so now um, I can just show that you can see these ships. These are first rate of uh, victory, victory class. And then we got a 144 gun ship. That's the, this one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then these I have one, two, three, four, so that's ten total. So the most we need in the next battles is eight, eight, ten, and ten. So with that in mind, we can look at uh, duck hunting. We need eight ships. Now I have 1,300 in my reserves. Now I know I'm going in with my 144 gun ships. So while we got these reserves here, we will just go ahead and top off my ship. We'll top off all the 144 gunships. Matter of fact, look at this one. It's already topped off. Notice it doesn't cost anything because we got all these reserves that I, I, I destroyed all my marine units. All right, and I topped them off, and as you can see, I have the five upgrades that I want on this ship. Now, we have very low caliber guns, because there's just not any available right now. Like, Well, I might be able to go with that. Let's see if we do have anything. Hey, we got a 24 pounder. Hey, we do have some that are now. Oh yeah, cause it was a new chapter. Now, could I put this gun or is it gonna be too much weight? Let me see. Yeah, now check this out. By putting this 42 pounder on here, I mean, it brought it up right up to the weight with, with the five upgrades. So I guess I could do that for this ship. Now 
Now what about this one? Ah, but with these can I get the last upgrade? Fire control. Yeah, I can. So now can I give this one a better gun? Yeah, but this one might be too heavy. Let me see. No. It's not. I mean, it, uh, what I what I mean is I have full crew. So if I let them have this gun, we're very close, but we got five upgrades. So yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. Now we already have a 24 here, but we don't have, let me see if we can do it. No, we can't. Okay, so see, we can't because I got, see, it's the Woolworth, uh, the weight of the Woolworths um, will not allow me to do that. Okay. So could I find... Or suppose, suppose I put nines here, because I do like these guns. Can I also put my fire control? I have fire control right here. No, I still can't. Oh, I still can't. <laughs> okay, can't talk. Oh, no matter what I try, I can't do it. Okay, all right. Well, that's fine for now. Let's go to this one. All right, well, that's enough right there. All right, well. All right, the video's long. As you can see, these ships are already up and running and stuff, so... I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and because I, I have all the ships that I need and I, I do not they gave us this one but I think what I'm going to do is just uh, make it a fire ship. It, it, yeah, because even look at this. They got all junky guys on it anyway. So, um, Oh, we got 13,000 of these. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just put that in with the other ships. Like, I'm all ready. So 
All right, well, I'm sorry about dragging out the video and stuff to just to fill that uh, that supply wagon and stuff. But yeah, if you know the answer to the the uh, other two supply wagons that was in this battle that I didn't see that they were at 50-50, how come the the mission ended, and how come we didn't see them? You know, like that's just kind of weird that that happened. But because normally they keep a battle going. As long as there's an enemy alive in the battle. So that's kind of interesting. But anyways, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you have a great day or a great afternoon. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Take care of yourself. God bless you and your own religion. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos and amigas.